Welcome back. Hopefully you guys had a chance to watch the bike check for my new DaVinci Spartan High Pivot. Today is going to be a first ride video. Going to take it out on the North Shore, ride some of my local trails, and let you know my first impressions of riding the bike. Now this video is brought to you by Insta360. I'm going to film this on my X3 camera in 360 mode with it mounted to my chin mount. Alrighty. So welcome to the first ride on the new bike, DaVinci Spartan High Pivot. Now it's technically not the first ride because I rode this bike in Arizona, but it's hard to compare when you're riding a completely different style of trail. So first ride on the North Shore. Roy's behind me going down Boogie Man. Very familiar with this trail, one of my favorites. One of the first trails I actually rode on the North Shore. So we'll see how things compare. A couple things are different on this bike. First is size. You guys watch the bike check. You know, after a little short time on a size medium, back on a size small, this bike just feels more comfortable for me. A little bit twitchier at high speeds on the small compared to the medium, but it just feels right for my riding style. Also a full 29er, so I was on the mullet last season. It's actually quite impressed. Definitely noticed the bigger, bigger wheel up front last year. It's got me 29er curious. We'll see what kind of tire buzz we get on the steep sections, see if that's an issue. Now the high pivot suspension is definitely noticeable when you're in rough terrain. This bike just feels so capable through the rough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone just loosely put a cedar plank there. <laughs> Ooh, new work. Booter to nowhere. I know I'm supposed to be talking more, but I find it really difficult to talk and ride at the same time. There's only so much brain power here. See, I like the size small for that, wheeling and dealing. Hey there. Thank you. Nick and Dale always talk so much in their videos, but I'm out of breath or out of concentration. Okay, uh, there's a lot of mosquitoes. Into the canoe, teeter-totter. Make short work of just about all the chunk here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Alrighty, somewhere in here is the drop. I haven't done that in a long time. Let's take the inside line here. <laughs> you know, I may have felt a little bit overbiked when we were in Arizona, but on the shore, this bike is everything I need. Lap number two, riding Dales. Fairly tech trail, a little bit higher elevation. We'll see if we run into any snow. Whoa, not slippery, almost fell. <laughs> this is where the bike excels. Chunder, high pivot just smooths it out. Notably more supple than my old Spartan. Just hold speed better. Which is kind of scary sometimes. Oh, out of breath. Bike just wants to eat. Oh, I missed the rock roll. <laughs> now, stop and look at the crack of despair. Where do you come in? Do you come in high? Uh, or do you start on the dirt? I don't usually take this route. I've only ever done it once and that was like 2016. This route, it's like <laughs> psychological torture. Why are you there? Right when I'm just trying to, you know, be chill, get my confidence. Woo! <laughs> okay, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's been a couple of years since I did that line, so nice to check that off the list again. Very scary near-death experience, huh? Is it okay? All right, if anything goes wrong, I blame Rory. Oh yeah, it's dry. Woo! <laughs> you always gotta pay tribute to the vintage line. Don't overshoot that corner. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, on this kind of trail where it's a little tighter, more awkward, I'm glad I got the size small. Woo! <laughs> For stuff like that. It just feels more natural to me. And you know, the suspension's still super capable, so I kind of get sort of the best middle ground for me of a big bike that remains playful. That was fun.
Okay, next trail, heading down forever after. <laughs> Putting the suspension to the test there. Hello, thank you very much. What's the point of having all this travel if you're not gonna use it? ride forever after that much because it's got a lot of pedally sections. Usually only ride it if we're doing one of the local enduro races and they put it in. It is kind of fun though. It's still the uphills and it's less fun. Like this section. Finding the edge of traction. Hello. Yeah. Just the two of us, thank you. Thank you. I think you can go between those trees, but I value my pinky. <laughs> Just hanging on. Yeah, I don't remember doing that before. Downhill wood always scares me. <laughs> I've been pulled up on that one before and I don't recommend it. That is definitely a roll, not a drop. So I added two tokens to this fork, but I'm starting to feel like it might be a bit too much ramp. Might need to drop down to one token or see if Rock Shocks makes a one and a half. Because on those big compressions, I feel like it ramps up a little bit too much. And I haven't had any hard, hard bottom outs. I've bottomed out, but. It's better than having no tokens though. No ride would be complete without a impromptu log ride. <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the first ride video. I was hoping to do more talking than I did, but as I said, it is very difficult to talk and ride when you're trying to ride fast and you're out of breath. All right, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, you can pick up your own Insta360 X3 through the link down in the description. Otherwise, we'll see you next week.